pre-order Elden Ring, the most anticipated game of 2022. Explore a new world created by Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R.R. Martin. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 fantasy worlds in TV, film, and video games. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. For this list, we're looking at the most original, detailed, and enthralling realms in fantasy shows, movies, and games. We'll be ranking them according to their realization on screen rather than their literary source material. We're excluding science fiction, steampunk, and science fantasy. Which of these worlds do you fantasize about living in? Tell us in the comments. Number 20. Fantasia – The Never-Ending Story If you've ever wanted to ride a luck dragon, join the club. Based on Mikhail Enda's 1979 novel, the never-ending story film see Bastion Bucks discovering the realm of Fantasia, a world created from human imagination. In that sense, Fantasia represents fantasy itself. As a result, it's always changing, more of a dream world than a place of rules, history, and fixed geography. But the places the films do show us and the characters we meet are all incredibly memorable. From Atreyu, Rockbiter, and Falcor, to the childlike Empress and even Gamork. Why is there a swamp of sadness? We don't know, but we do know it's ingrained in our memories forever. Don't give in to the sadness, Artax. You have to care for me. You're my friend. I love you. Artax! Number 19. Labyrinth. Labyrinth. Like Fantasia, the Goblin King's Labyrinth has the feel of a dream, with its own mysterious logic and geography. Oh my god! Why is there a shaft of hands? Why has Didymus sworn to guard the Bog of Eternal Stench? Are there other Ludos out there, or is Ludo the only Ludo? There may be no answers. However, the world of Labyrinth stands out for several reasons. There's its novel labyrinthine form, its dark and menacing environments, and its visually striking puppets, courtesy of director Jim Henson and concept artist Brian Froud. Perhaps its most memorable locale is the room of Escher-style stairs. Of course, Labyrinth would be nothing without the child-snatching Goblin King himself. Number 18. Thetis, Dragon Age. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. At a glance, the continent of Thetis might seem awfully familiar. It's a classic fantasy world populated with humans, elves, dwarves, and dragons. But that doesn't mean there isn't a rich lore and history there. Divided into kingdoms with distinct political systems and cultures, Thetis is a sprawling world of ancient ruins, towns, fortresses, and underground caverns. Its various races and factions frequently clash and are driven by their own internal conflicts. Thetis's magic system stands out, with mages drawing their power from the Fade a realm of spirits and demons that's closely connected to dreams. Also unique are the enigmatic Kunari, a white-haired, metallic-skinned race created for the games. That isn't contradictory to you. He chooses to be, as do we all, long before any of your meaningless freedoms are presented. Number 17, The Westlands, The Wheel of Time. The dragon has been born again, and it's one of you. The Wheel of Time turns, and ages come and pass. In the previous age, men driven mad by the Dark One broke the world. Now, female wielders of the One Power hold sway, as the world waits with bated breath for the prophesied Dragon Reborn, who will break it again, save it, or both. This is the basic premise of Robert Jordan's fantasy epic The Wheel of Time. Jordan's novels weave in incredible detail about the world's magic system, distinct cultures, and political factions. 
However, Amazon's adaptation has so far received a mixed response from fans. Any detail would be helpful, no matter how seemingly small. There's still time for the series to delve deeper, but even a glimpse of Jordan's rich world on screen is enough to earn it a place on this list. What does it mean? That this wasn't the last battle. I fear it was the first. Number 16, The Dark Souls Universe, Dark Souls. The fantasy worlds in From Software's games are dark and shrouded in mystery. From Bloodborne's gothic city Yharnam to Elden Ring's Land Between, gamers have dedicated countless hours to unraveling the mysteries of the Dark Souls universe in particular. Whereas many fantasy games are packed with detailed tomes and exposition, the Dark Souls games make you work for every scrap of lore. But that's what makes this land of fallen kingdoms, undead warriors, and ancient lords so intriguing. It's a deadly world of gods and demons, locked into endless cycles of fire and darkness, death and rebirth. Even though its history remains elusive, it continues to captivate. Number 15, The Spirit Realm, Spirited Away. Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli have created numerous memorable fantasy worlds. It's the Spirit Realm from Spirited Away, however, that takes our entry here. Inspired by Shinto Buddhist folklore, it's the home of the kami, or spirits, who come in a myriad of forms, many related to nature. The main location we're privy to is Yubaba's bathhouse, a grandiose multi-floored building bustling with workers and clients. Oh, sorry. However, Jihiro's journey on the sea train to Zaniba's cottage hints at a much wider world, where spirits go about their daily business. Sit here. Behave yourself, okay? The gorgeous animation, combined with the bathhouse's colorful and eccentric characters, make it a world we wish we could see more of. Okay, you two, it's time to go home. Come back soon. Number 14, Thra, the Dark Crystal. The Skeksis might have given us nightmares as kids, but Jim Henson's dark fantasy world also made us want to be Gelflings and have our very own fizzy gig. Fizz gig, have we a gym? Some of the elements in The Dark Crystal are classic, drawing on familiar ideas and themes, but the animatronic puppet designs, based on Brian Froud's concept art, elevate the world to one of a kind. Thra feels like a real yet also alien place, filled with fantastic flora and fauna, from the adorable podlings to the bizarre landstriders and sinister Gartham. The short-lived TV series Age of Resistance further built up Thra's lore and history. The result is a fascinating world that begs to be explored. Hello there. <sighs> Number 13, Azeroth, Warcraft. Heroes arise to challenge fate and lead their brethren to battle. It's impressive to see how far Blizzard's world has come since its inception. One of the recurring themes in the Warcraft series is the conflict between the human-led alliance and the Orcish Horde. However, Azeroth is much more than that. With each game, the world has been expanded, revealing new continents and kingdoms. Its many regions are populated by the usual humans, elves, dwarves, and orcs, but also unique races like the Tauren, Pandaren, and Draenei. The world also has a fascinating cosmology. Azeroth is home to the world soul of a titan, and was once a battleground where titans warred with eldritch horrors, who remain imprisoned beneath the surface. Oh no. Number 12, Neverland, Peter Pan. Neverland is easy to find, provided you can fly. Stars 
It's a simple world where children can remain forever young and live lives of adventure, running amok and battling pirates. However, it's this simplicity that captures the childlike wonder and excitement at the heart of fantasy. There's a poignancy to the original tale that's often overlooked. Once we're grown up, no longer gay and innocent and heartless, we lose the way to Neverland forever. But the adaptations have brought to life Neverland's enchanting qualities, whether in animation or live action. <laughs> oh, you're alive! It's a place where innocence endures, and where, with a little pixie dust, fancy can take flight. That's a fantasy that strikes a chord with us all. Number 11, Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, Mr. Rabbit, wait, please. Find the right rabbit hole and you'll land in this surreal world of wonder. Just don't eat the mushrooms. Lewis Carroll's Alice novels have been adapted numerous times in TV, cinema, and video games. Among the most notable adaptations are Disney's animated 1951 film and Tim Burton's live action movies. A wooded world full of oddball characters and anthropomorphic animals, Wonderland is a place where nonsense is normal and the absurd is ordinary. Why, well, you're a cat! A Cheshire cat. It's another dream world, one that stood the test of time thanks to endearing and eccentric characters like the White Rabbit, Mad Hatter, and Cheshire Cat. Oh, by the way, Merry Unbirthday! Number 10, Oz, The Wizard of Oz. Adapted from L. Frank Baum's children's novel, 1939's Wizard of Oz is one of the most watched movies in history. Its popularity owes a lot to its memorable characters and quotable dialogue, but also to its colorful, quirky fantasy setting. We must be over the rainbow. Located somewhere over the rainbow, it's a land of fairy tales and folklore, where witches, munchkins, and anthropomorphic animals rub shoulders. Through it all runs the yellow brick road that leads to the Emerald City. We're out to save the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Sure, it might not be as meticulously crafted as some others here, but it's whimsical, bright, and fantastic in every sense. <laughs> Number 9. Ancient Greece and the Nine Realms, God of War God of War leans heavily on Greek and Norse myth to build its fantasy setting, but it's done in such a compelling and innovative way that we had to include it. Opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. The game's version of the ancient world is packed with mythological creatures, from harpies and minotaurs to dark elves and valkyries. Humans are the pawns of capricious deities who war for control over heaven and earth. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world where only the strong survive. The nine realms in particular are divided into distinct locales with unique environments and inhabitants. It's a world that's instantly recognizable, but also thrilling and perilous enough to stand out. Number 8. Hyrule – The Legend of Zelda You don't always need to pack in a plethora of kingdoms to make a great fantasy world. Sometimes you just need one. While the Legend of Zelda games have visited various lands, the most prominent and iconic is the Kingdom of Hyrule. It's distinguished by its natural beauty, with deep woods, towering peaks, and a vast desert region. Speaking of which… Can you believe this view? Just look at all those delectable rocks sprinkled on those mountains. Ruled by the royal family from Hyrule Castle and watched over by the Golden Goddesses, it has a long and detailed history filled with ancient conflicts, calamities, and magical artifacts. A variety of unique races populate its diverse geographical regions, including the Gorons, Zora, Fairies, Gerudo, and Rito. Hyrule has been incredibly influential, showing how some places can be so special that revisiting them never gets old. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. Number 7. Earth 
Avatar The Last Airbender. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. It might not be our Earth, but it's one we would gladly live in. The principal fantasy element in Avatar's Earth is the presence of benders who can telekinetically manipulate the elements – water, earth, fire, or air. However, it's also enriched by its Asiatic-inspired cultures and spirit world, whose inhabitants come to permeate the human realm in The Legend of Korra. Of course, we'd be remiss not to mention the bizarre chimerical animals, like winged lemurs and polar bear dogs. Tenzin will be here in a few days. Sure, they're not the most imaginative fantasy creations, but they are adorable. Who didn't want a flying bison as a kid? Sure beats a bike. Number 6. Tamriel, The Elder Scrolls These are the closing days of the Third Era, and the final hours of my life. The vast continent of Tamriel is divided into nine provinces, each with their own dominant races, cultures, and environments. Over it all rules the Almighty Empire. Each game in the Elder Scrolls series has added to the world, making it hard to rival in scope. The lore is incredibly detailed, often offering multiple clashing perspectives on the same events. While there are the usual high fantasy races, there are also some unique additions, such as the Argonians and Khajiit. What makes Tamriel really special, though, is how it seems to offer endless possibilities. Want to explore far-flung ruins, delve into dark caverns, learn magic, become an assassin, or just get into a good old-fashioned brawl? In Tamriel, you can do and be just about whatever you like. Can be seen here, foolish. He's carried out. Number five, Narnia: The Chronicles of Narnia. And the whole land of Narnia is mine. <laughs> Written by C.S. Lewis in the 1950s, the Narnia series is a prime example of portal fantasy, where characters are transported into a new fantastic world connected to our own. It's a subgenre whose charm often lies in the juxtaposition between the mundane and the fantastic. And this is where the magic of Narnia lies also. In Narnia, animals can talk and ordinary schoolchildren can become kings and queens and make friends with mythical beasts. Oh, I never thought I'd live to see this day. While the movies weren't all well received, the world they revealed remained enchanting. Every time we see a lamppost, we hope we've stumbled into Narnia somehow. Number 4. The Continent, The Witcher This world doesn't need a hero. It needs a professional. Several of Andrei Sapkowski's earlier Witcher stories offer dark takes on popular fairy tales, replacing traditional tropes with stark realism and moral ambiguity. It's a tone that colors the rest of the series as well as its adaptations, from CD Projekt Red's video games to Netflix's TV show. The Continent is a dangerous, often brutal world, where creatures inspired by Slavic folklore lurk in the woods, people can be just as monstrous, and elder races struggle to survive human expansion. Magic doesn't work on me. Silver does, though. Silver is for monsters. <laughs> it's this danger and decay, however, that invites fans to imagine themselves in the Witcher world. Killing monsters. What, what, what are you doing? Killing monsters. Number 3. Westeros and Essos – Game of Thrones HBO's fantasy drama was a game-changer for the genre on screen, and that's largely thanks to the believable, gritty, and detailed world crafted by a Song of Ice and Fire author George R. R. Martin. Westeros and Essos don't team with magic or even otherworldly creatures. Unless, of course, you're north of the Wall and run into a horde of White Walkers. It's the low-key approach to the fantastic that makes Game of Thrones' world stand out, leaving more room for political intrigue, bloody battles, and even bloodier betrayals. 
its fantasy elements are rare, but all the more precious and intriguing. From the few remaining children of the forest to the last dragons. Number 2. The Wizarding World – Harry Potter You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard and a thumping good one, I'd wager. As kids, we all fantasize about embarking on magic-filled adventures and wish that school was a little bit more interesting. J.K. Rowling tapped into these desires with her Harry Potter novels, and the films that followed did an incredibly convincing job of bringing her world to life. Hogwarts might be a school that would invite a lot of lawsuits in the real world, but who wouldn't want to attend? You pull it sharply up out of the box. The world of Harry Potter is one of wonder and excitement, where wizards walk the halls, mythical creatures roam the forests, and the solution to our troubles is often just a wand tap away. You'd have to be a muggle to miss out. Oh, come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. The Multiverse, His Dark Materials, A World of Dust, Demons and Supernatural Struggle. The Pokémon World – Pokémon Its Pokémon might be its most distinctive feature, but they're enough to make it great. Paradise Island – Attack on Titan – A dark, post-apocalyptic world that's larger than life. This video is brought to you by Elden Ring. Elden Ring is an expansive action RPG from the minds behind the Souls games and Game of Thrones. You are the Tarnished, an exiled warrior looking to reclaim their home and bring peace to the realm. To do this, you journey across the Lands Between, a sprawling fantasy world with dark secrets, dangerous enemies, and powerful gear waiting to be discovered. With your trusty spectral steed, you can roam the world with complete freedom. Customize your warrior with a variety of classes, each with unique traits and abilities suited to take down beasts and men alike. With a fast-paced and engaging combat system, deep lore and story, and incredible bosses and world design, Elden Ring is the definitive action fantasy experience. Own it on February 25th. Number 1. Middle-Earth – The Lord of the Rings For Frodo. R.R. Tolkien's high fantasy world towers over the rest, on screen as in literature. Inspired by Germanic mythology, Tolkien sought to create a new mythology of his own, including an elaborate fictional history and even new languages. I am a serpent of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of Arnor. The dark fire will never fail you, flame of Udun! This rich and complex world building shines through in adaptations from Peter Jackson's films to the slew of video games that followed. It's a world of brave and noble heroes, enigmatic wizards, glorious battles, and tales both inspiring and tragic. It's also one of poignant transition, as the time of elves gives way to the time of men. Middle-earth evokes a sense of something lost, a glorious mythical past that we wish was our present. It's fantasy at its very best. A day may come! When the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. An hour of wolves and shattered shields when the age of men comes crashing down. But it is not this day. Pre-order Elden Ring, the most anticipated game of 2022. Explore a new world created by Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R.R. R. Martin.